Pals and welcome to my June Favorites video. It's been a little while since I posted anything and I thought now that I'm all moved into the new house and everything's settled and the dogs are a little bit calmer, might as well take an opportunity to show you my June Favorites. So let's get started. So I was going through the Fred Meyer and they were having a sale on Milani. Hello. And so I grabbed a Coralista blush and it was buy one get one 50% off and I saw this little guy. It's the Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner in Transparent and I love the Lipstick Queen Transparent Liner. The only problem is everybody else loves it too so it's kind of hard to get a hold of unless I want to order it online and I haven't had like the best luck with Lipstick Queen online and um it takes a while so I thought I'd give this a try and I love it. It's not quite as smooth as um, the Lipstick Queen for like putting it on your lip, but for lining the outside so it doesn't feather, it's great. And um, I love wearing it with my Lime Crime. It keeps those lipsticks there, which I have a little bit of feathering problems with Lime Crime, but I will take it for the amount of pigment payoff. And with this, ain't no thing. So, <clears throat> there's that. Another favorite beauty favorite this month is an oldie for everybody, but um, a new one for me. It's the Naked Skin Beauty Balm by Urban Decay. And um, I don't know why I didn't get it when it came out. I just wasn't really into the beauty balm thing, I, concept. Like, I couldn't understand why it wasn't, I mean, like, what the difference between, like, it and... Uh, tinted moisturizer was and I guess there really isn't a whole lot of difference and so I picked up the little one of this and of the Tarte and what was the other one? Oh, I got a sample of the Too Faced one. So that's what started it. And so um, I tried all three of those out and this by far was the winner. I wear it all the time, every day. Like, it's moisturizer, and then I put this on. And it's got SPF 20 in it, which I like. I already have I already have SPF in my moisturizer, but a couple days I have, like, not moisturized in the morning. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. And just use this, and that makes, I feel okay doing that, because then, I mean, I feel okay doing that because I have SPF in here. So, um... And there's like quite a lot left in this little bottle for as much as I've used it. I probably used it like three quarters of the month and there's still quite a bit in there. But I'm definitely going to pick up the big bottle and then relegate this one for travel. Um, another foundation-y thing that I found is the Studio Fix Care Blend. And I can't remember whose blog... I was like looking through. I think I just typed in like good foundation, good powder over like, but good powder over uh, tinted moisturizer or foundation. And um, a couple people suggested the Studio Care Blend. And I had used MAC Blot religiously for a long time. Like it, um, it was my go to powder. But as I get older, I'm finding my face especially my face is is drying out a lot in my cheeks my nose is still pretty oily but like I'm getting like where I had like slight combination skin with like a oily t-zone as a teenager and as a young adult as I like start to age it's becoming like dramatic combination skin which I kind of think is worse than the other but um so I so the blot just like cakes onto my cheeks so I picked up the Studio Care blend and I love it. I wear shade Light Plus, if you're wondering. And um, if you haven't seen it, it comes with the little black thing. It's just powder. Um, on really hot days, which we've had a ton of in Portland, I will dust blot on my nose and like my forehead and then this everywhere else, a mix of the two on my nose and my forehead. And it's great. I love it. It's perfect. This is another oldie but a goodie, but it's the lipstick I've been wearing all month. I'm wearing it right now. 
it um I found it when we moved I had gotten like shoved into like the back corner of one of our kitchen like junk drawers probably because I was like emptying out my purse like on the counter and Colin just threw it in the drawer but it is the MAC lipstick in Lady Danger it is my favorite red from MAC. I love that it's orangey and depending on what you wear with it and the blushes it's very versatile and um, I haven't met a lot of people it doesn't look good on. This is one of my all-time favorite red lipsticks um, and I'm glad to have it back. I hadn't worn it probably for like a, like eight months eight months to a year because I couldn't find it and I was like I'm not spending $14 on a tube of lipstick I know I have. You've been there, right? So my next favorite is the Too Faced Eyes a la Mode in the Sexy Saint Tropez Eye Collection. This is my first palette from Too Faced and I am over the moon about the consistency of the shadows in this collection. Um, it just, it's the standard Too Faced uh, case with the metal case with the mirror and the plastic around it and you get three big shadows and three little shadows. I had purchased it for the Monaco and the Del Mar because I was thinking pink eyeshadow with like navy blue like crease and liner would be great but I haven't gotten around to buying navy blue liner yet because I'm lazy. I think the best thing about this palette is these three highlight shades here. Saint Tropez looks a little bit scary in the container because it's got a fair amount of gold glitter in it but I'm wearing it today and it doesn't have like a gold glitter look. It's not like BAM someone just threw a disco ball on my eyeball. It's um very subtle it brightens up the eye area and makes you look like awake and those I think that the gold glitter in there like really helps like make your eyes sparkle but not like crazy my one of my absolute all-time favorites probably could be in every favorite video ever is the julep glycolic hand scrub I um I don't know if I've shared it on my blog or if I shared it in my previous video because I think this may have been in there too, but I am scared to death of hand age. Um, I've been scarred for life by this interview that Madonna did with MTV in the when she turned 40 and she's beautiful and like ageless and gorgeous and her face is just like flawless, right? And then she pulls up her hands to like gesture at something and I swear they looked like a Crypt Keeper. Like it was the only thing I could focus on through the rest of that interview and like she's like what in her 50s now so that had to be over like a decade ago and since then I've been like totally and utterly obsessed with hand age. So um and Glycolic acid is great for rejuvenating the top layer of skin, making it, the skin more elastic, and this scrub scrubs off all my, um, scrubs off all my dead skin, leaves my hands super smooth, and then I follow it up with a literal, like, I have as much, like, hand cream as most women have, like, lipstick. It's crazy. Um, with one of my favorite hand creams. So this I really love. Um, I also became a Julep member again this month because they suck you in. So you could get it for a discount if you're a Julep member. I think it's 14 or 16 on Julep with the Maven membership, but it's definitely, you definitely can get it at Sephora. And they also make it in a really great kit with this and the Rockstar hand cream, which is a, one of my favorite hand creams. So, um, yeah totally check this out. I'll put a link down below. If you've never been a Julep Maven, you can use that code to get a free starter box. And um, yeah, so you should check it out if you haven't. Um, the other nail thing is my favorite nail polish of the month. And up until just this week, because it is the 4th of July tomorrow, I um, I had been wearing this most of the week, most of the month, and it's Cult Nails in Thrive. And if you haven't tried Cult Nails, get on it. Like, seriously. Her nail polish is amazing. And her Wicked Fast Top Coat is one of the best top coats I've ever used. Better than Essie Good To Go, better than Out The Door, better than Sacre Vie. It's 
fast, clear, and super shiny. It's amazing. I love it. I, um, I'm almost running out, so I need to order some, but, uh, her nail polish is amazing, and this shade is crazy beautiful. It's this beautiful mint color, and I don't know if you can, if the camera's gonna pick it up, it probably won't, but there is a buttload of blue and light green, like, glitter in here. So it does have that little, like, rough texture, but for being as textury glittery as it is, it goes on amazing. I got compliments everywhere I went, and everybody asked me what it was, and it's Cult Nails Thrive. Get on it. She does beautiful collections. If you catch it when she's putting out a new collection, she will do three bottles of nail polish for 24 usually, and her that's like buying two and getting one of them free. And seriously, I love everything about her nail polish. It's amazing. So let's go on to beauty stuff like face care, and then I've got a weird beauty one. So saving my life this month has been the Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes from Pacifica. Um, I love Pacifica products. I swear by their perfume and their body wash. And um, I love their uh, mascara too for days when you don't want like crazy mascara but you want like a more natural look. Love it. Um, but these have been like a lifesaver. I um, don't remember what YouTuber I heard it from but they uh, said that they put their face wipes in their dresser in their drawer by their bed. And that was like a life-changing revolution for me because a lot of times I'll like crawl into bed to like read a book with the dogs and be like, oh, I gotta like take my makeup off. And I'm like, that's not happening. There's no way I'm taking my makeup off. So I, so I started putting these in and then I could just take one or two, wipe it off. It's not as good as washing my face with my Clarisonic, but then I'll get up in the morning and wash my face with the Clarisonic. But these are great. They smell awesome. They're juicy. Like, look at, you can see them, like, foaming up a little bit still. And this pack is almost done. It's almost done. The other thing is, they're not that super expensive. I know you can get them at Target. You can get them at Fred Meyer, Target, um, Whole Foods. Where's the other place? Uh, New Seasons, but you wouldn't have that if you didn't live in Portland. Um, so, yeah, there's a bunch of places you can pick them up. They're really good. You can order them from Pacifica.com. The other thing I like about them is they're made right here in Portland, Oregon. So, gotta support the lovely local business of Portland. So, um, yeah, they've got all kinds of good stuff in it. And they're vegan, so that's also a plus. And then the last... Um, the last thing I've got is the, um, is deodorant. When you're probably like, mm, Spencer, we don't need to know about what your deodorant. I was walking through, uh, Green Zebra, which is this little, like, Trader Joe's slash 7-Eleven slash Whole Foods kind of store, and, um, they carried Schmidt's deodorant. And I had seen Schmidt's deodorant at Crafty Wonderland and thought, yeah, I should really get that, and then for some reason, like, never got back around to her booth to do it, and so it is a natural formula affected for neutralizing underarm order and absorbing wetness. Aluminum-free, polyphylene-free, glycol-free, paraben-free, and phosphate-free. It's amazing. Like, all of the butters in the back you can read. It gives you, like, the, like, big, like, to like, not toxic, the big, like, chemical name of it, but then it tells you, like, the colloquial name of it, too. And, um, it's got, it's all natural products. It's all things that I would actually, like, feel, like, okay eating in my body. Maybe not shea butter. Probably shouldn't eat shea butter. But other than the shea butter, I'd probably eat everything else that's in it. And um, I got the lime bergamot and it smells amazing. And when you pair, when I, when I pair the lime bergamot with my coconut body butter from the body shop or my coconut butter from Pacifica, it literally smells like, it literally makes you smell like a pina colada in like the best way possible. So I highly suggest it. Um, I know that the other one that I really liked and would like to try is their Lavender Sage. It's like super clean and like I think it'll be really great for like winter time, but this is perfect for summer. And how you use it is it comes with your like 
girl, that does how do you put that deodorant on, right? How you use this is it comes in a little um, container with this little spatula, and you just scoop out like a little pea shape amount, like you don't need a whole lot on it. Rub it in your hands and then rub it onto your armpits, which seems weird, but once you start doing it, it's great and it works. It works so much better than the Tom. This, I just don't feel sweaty. It's great, it's perfect. It's all another thing also made here in the beautiful city of Portland, Oregon. So check them out at schmitzdeodorant.com or check out your like local health food store. I'm sure some of them have it. Um, if you're in Portland, go to the Green Zebra. They totally have it right there. Boom, done. Uh, it's awesome. Fashion favorite for the month. And um, I've been sewing a lot and wearing a lot of like skirts and stuff. Skirts with like tops that I make. Skirts I'm making with like tops and like other things. And um, I bought a couple things from pinupgirl.com because they had a sale at the beginning of the month. At the end of like they had a sale for Memorial Day. So I had bought a couple things from them. And so I was thinking... So, so when I was going through trying to think of like what a fashion favorite could be, the only thing I could come up with was these. These are my amazing pinup girl couture for Tres Noir sunglasses. I bought them two years ago when I broke my arm to go to WWDC. I wanted I wanted sunglasses that were cute and would look good with a bunch of the outfits I was going to wear since a lot of things I was wearing had to be I based a lot of things around the navy and white um, sling I had because I'm crazy um, this worked and um, these worked out awesome they're the ultra lux style and I highly highly suggest them um my home decor favorite of the month is I redid my vanity so that I could sit down at it and um, do my makeup in the bedroom because our bathroom is unacceptable to do makeup. There's no like counter, there's literally no counter space, there's literally no place to put anything other than like right on the back of the toilet and it's just really bad. It's like the size of a, cl I've had walk-in closets in apartments bigger than the bathroom in our house. So. It is what it is, so um, I set up my makeup counter and I will insert a picture that I put on Instagram here. And one of the things that I wanted was a bunch of containers to put lip liners, lip pencils, eyeliners, brushes, all those kind of things, and I found this when I was walking through Target, and it's the Golden Gold Standard Vanity Cup by Sonia Kashuk. It's this really hard, thick acrylic. It's got this beautiful gold rim and these beautiful white and black, black and white flowers on it. And um, it was a whole set. They had a tray and this really great bag that I just bought yesterday that I'm going to end up sitting on my counter, on my vanity, that holds all of your essentials perfectly. So, um... But yeah, no, I love it. It looks chic. Um, the gold goes really well with my 1956 stereo stelio um, mirror that I bought. Um, it, I just love it. It's kind of perfect, and I have two of them, and the tray, and the bag, and the brushes, and I'm obsessed. It's awesome. Um, another thing that's my favorite this month is Nature Box, and I finally broke down after listening to Blair F Fowler, um, go on and on and on about Nature Box, and so she finally had a deal where you got, like, 50% off your first Nature Box, and I was like, okay, let's do it. I'm really bad at snacking, um, and I know that it's bad for me. I'm not bad at eating healthy foods. I'm very bad at regulating my food intake. And so my body like thinks that it's starving in the morning and then I feed it and it's like, why don't you feed me all day? And so I need to become like, one of the things is I need to really become better at constantly not being hungry. I get busy doing things and then I don't eat. So Nature Box has been amazing for me. And this month my favorite two items were the chia seed crackers which are insane they're just nuts i um love them so much i ordered one in my box this month and added one on as an extra 
like, I literally would, like, dole out my, like, little bit of them, like, every day, like, trying not to eat them so fast, but they were gone within, like, two weeks. They're amazing. They're perfect for, like, sitting and watching TV. They're just great. And the other thing I loved was the pie, uh, pineapple. Um, that would be good too though, but the apple pie oat clusters, and, um, they are out of this world too. Um, I, these are perfect for, in the afternoon I like to make myself a tea latte, uh, either hot or iced, and this was perfect just to have, like, one of these with a tea latte, and, with some coconut milk in the latte, and, like, the protein from the coconut milk, and the little bit of sugar and oats from one or two of these, was perfect and you're like I'm ready to go on for the afternoon right like conquer the world so nature box has been great I'll put a code down below where you can get 50% off a nature box um, if you follow that code um, yeah and so my last thing for the month is tea and um, I had been uh, I've been drinking a lot of coffee and I need to learn about it's hard because I really love coffee and like I love I'm kind of a coffee snob I really love high quality crafted roasted and like shots pulled and like perfectly steamed like soy or coconut milk lattes right I get, they're they're my thing they're my love they're part of the reason I get up every morning but I have a tendency to drink more of them than I probably should and more coffee because I have a Chemex than I probably should. So I'm trying to limit myself to one cup or one latte in the morning and then if I need extra caffeine boost throughout the day I'm going with tea. So I've been amassing a collection of tea and the um, the number one for this month is the Townsend. Townshed's Tea Company's Lady Londonderry. I love Lady Londonderry, and um, if you've never had Lady Londonderry, it's a black tea with lemon and strawberries in it. So this one actually has like the little peels of lemon and the little bits of strawberry in there with the oil rolled onto the black tea. So this tea is perfect for everything. I ice it, I make it hot, I make lattes out of it, uh, hot or cold. It's just great. It has such a subtle sweet flavor to it on its own that you don't need to put sugar in it at all. It's great. Um, the other thing I remember about it is it makes me think of when I went to London with my mother because a lot of the tea shops around Kensington Garden served Lady London Dairy because it was Lady Diana's favorite tea. So it's a little bit nostalgic and makes me think of my mom, which I don't, who I don't get to see very much living all the way across the country. So um, yeah, that's it. So I think that's going to do it for this month's favorites. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can check out my last month's favorite video. You can also check out my other channel, Pick Up and Pearl, where I have a weekly knitting podcast where I tell you about what I'm knitting, and, um, you can listen to my dogs bark, uh, and, uh, I think that's gonna be it. So, I hope you have a great 4th of July. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!